Let's practice identifying enharmonic notes in the example below. E sharp. E is located on the keyboard after the two black keys. To assist us, we're going to draw one more keyboard. And between E and F, there is no black key. E sharp, as we learned previously, sharps raise a note a half step. And on the keyboard, it's demonstrated by going to the next key to the right. So E sharp is F. The answer for the enharmonic of E sharp is F. The next example, C sharp. The enharmonic for C sharp, we first identify C. Sharp raises up a half step. And so D flat would be the answer. The next example gives us G flat and it's demonstrated above. G flat F sharp would be the enharmonic. going to erase the keyboard so that we can visualize this a little bit better. D sharp. I'm going to try and demonstrate in harmonics with a different example set. If you notice below, this rule applies if there's a black key in the middle between the notes and not two white keys. We're going to use this with the example below D sharp. We have D. We're going to raise it up for a D sharp. And the rule that we can observe here is if it is a sharp, the enharmonic will be a flat. If it is a sharp, the enharmonic will be a flat. If it is a flat, the enharmonic will be a sharp. That's a nice way of checking your answers. Except this rule applies only for notes that have black keys in between them. If they have white keys, as you saw with the example of E and F, they don't have the opposite accidentals. So in this example of D sharp, we will go up here for E and bring it down. In harmonics, we usually do contrasting. D sharp, therefore E flat. I hope this example explains enharmonics a little bit easier when you visualize it. Let's do one more example. B flat. Identify B. Flats will lower a half step, so we're going to go down and we're on the black key. If we're going down, we're going to go one letter down and B, one letter down is A. Identify A on the keyboard. We're going to do the opposite of a flat and go sharp, and there we have A sharp. 